All right, guys, so here we go for part one on the manual swap. First thing is swapping these pedals in. First thing we're going to do is before we install it, we're going to go ahead and pull this quadrant off and install this UPR piece in there, which seems to be made very nicely. I like that. Pop this rubber grommet out for access. Got a drill here to add the uh, firewall adjuster. All right, so the stock cable has these little tabs on it right here. So I just filed those down and I'm taking this piece right here just off and that will go into the uh, firewall adjuster so now we have a plethora of wires on here now this harness right there that little plug the lights on that goes to your clutch pedal I do know that and this plug right here goes back onto the brake pedal there's a harness that goes up here to plug in here's your four bolts to pull the assembly out and then there's one more screw like right there so we're going to be swapping that out as well those are all the things that switch over so hopefully if i'm right when i get all this installed see how it's got that little plug in there it's got like a jumper on the clutch assembly there's a plug that will plug into there it's two black wires basically it makes a, uh, a ground uh, makes contact so that way when this makes contact as well as the clutch pedal wires make contact that's what enables the vehicle to start um, that's better than jumping two wires which would be your white and pink and red and blue on the harness under the hood and still have it all function as it should have in the factory so there's a wire on the way so now it's time to drop this column and swap all this out and see if i'm right if i'm not well sorry guys <laughs> Now your hardware is going to be here behind the brake booster. So like right there, that bolt is going to be one and the other three are going to be inside. And guys, to make all this easier, get you a couple long extensions to get to some of this hardware. And having a swivel head ratchet, once I get to it, really helps too. So just a word to the wise. Now that top bolt is a 10 millimeter and the four bolts are 13 millimeter also having a swivel wouldn't hurt something i'm also noticing here is we have this yellow clip we're going to, have to pull that out we're going to take this off and put it on the uh new pedal assembly as well now speaking on that right there if you've noticed there's a white washer on there remember how that comes apart it actually has a uh, slot cut into one side of that uh, brake pedal sensor but then there's just a hole so what's going to happen is you're going to slide that off once that uh, brake pedal assembly comes out of there for the booster so remember that washer goes on afterwards then that yellow clip does all right so i have the harness removed here's that jumper i was talking about right here this goes on the brake pedal it's ba basically a brake selector type switch and here's the actual brake light switch so there's three plugs on this harness pull it away because it's going to go on to the next uh, pedal all this will be installed on the other pedal assembly all right so i've learned a very valuable lesson if you remove the quadrant you can actually get the pedal assembly in there if you finagle it a lot without dropping the steering column so that is a wise lesson learned so now you don't have to drop the column which is great but still a pain in the butt to do all right so i had to help her to make sure that my brake lights still work they did pedals are installed you can see i got a lot of wiring down there it's from old stereo stuff that's all coming out but everything works clutch pedal release works and everything so we're good so now pedals are installed next step is going to be the rest of the swap all right so we got everything installed uh, everything's working great. So now we're going to put uh, our interior panels back together. I'm going to go take a shower, drink a few adult beverages. And uh, that concludes part number one. 
just remember the way everything comes apart it goes back together the exact same way on this the only difference is you have an extra plug there that's that white and pink wire with the red and blue and uh, that just plugs right in the bottom of that harness it's literally plug and play but always remember also if you don't want to drop the steering column you can take the quadrant off and then reinstall it after the pedals are in it does take some finagling to move things around but you can get it done all right guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on part number two